tell me more about what's going on between the two of you? We've been polyamorous for over eight years now. We cross boundaries that shouldn't have been crossed. The yelling, the drinking, it feels helpless. He want to have sex, but not worrying about daycare and drop-offs and laundry. I like dangerous sex. I don't want the anger. I do, sometimes. How do you feel hearing that? I don't know what else to do. You're stuck on a certain story. That felt brutal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my Rather than leave it alone, let's do something radical here. Why are you bringing that up again? Because it happens. It's embarrassing. I'm having a hard you time. You stabbed me. It's not about you. So blindside me. Yeah. Put it that How do you not understand? You want me to hurt you? Are you kidding me? Enough. I think I just had like a little bit of a <laughs> finny. I'm looking forward to seeing how this plays out. Ooh. I'm getting anxiety just watching that. Right? There. Couples therapy takes an in-depth look at the relationships that keep up and growing or can hold us back. And now season four is out and already making viral memes on social media. Yeah, one guest even says they'll wait until middle school to raise their kids. Hmm, wonder how that went over. <laughs> Dr. Right? Orna Girlnick, the host of the show, joins us now. Thanks so much for being with us this morning, Orna. Good morning. All right, first off, are these real therapy sessions? Can you tell us a little bit about this? Absolutely real therapy sessions. These are couples that applied to participate in the show in order to get real therapy. They're each suffering with particular issues that couples face. And I take uh, on average 18 weeks to work with them. The work is filmed and uh, edited for the show. Whew. Okay, I am curious here, being in your seat from your perspective, do you ever hear a partner say something that is just so egregious that it's hard for you to kind of hide your disgust or outrage? Or, or do you always play the middle woman, if you will, and just listen and give practical feedback? I mean, is it hard for you not to react? I think, I mean, that's a good question. I think my reactions are sometimes useful clinically. I mean, if someone says something that is really egregious, my reactions should guide the couple to, in a way, give them a certain kind of boundary as to what is an appropriate thing to say both in therapy and to your partner and what is just going too far. So, I mean, I've heard everything at this point, but if I'm really outraged by something, I will use my response as useful information for the couple. Yeah, and that has to be so validating for the other yeah. person. Well, the fourth season of Couples Therapy recently debuted over the weekend. What can you tell us about the latest season and the real couples that you are dealing with as they participate in these sessions? The participants are amazing. They're really amazing people. There's a couple, there's a newlywed couple that are dealing with a very possessive orthodox, religiously orthodox mother, and they're trying to create a new boundary around their marriage, which is a complicated thing to do. There's a gay couple that each come from a really intense history of childhood trauma, and they're navigating their relationship now and how past trauma inflects their relationship now and they're very fierce and brave in their love for each other and trying to overcome trauma. There's a couple dealing with a young child, almost a baby, and dealing with issues of division of labor and how to negotiate the differences that people face when they're trying to live together. And then surprisingly, there's a polycule, which is three people forming a non-traditional relationship. Well, that sounds like an interesting one. Well, the season is underway. It's bound to be fascinating once again. Orna, thanks a lot for joining us this morning. Thank you.